What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And this is episode 105, so it will be an hour special. So thank you very much guys for supporting um, these videos and I hope you enjoy these hour specials. Um, but in this episode we are going to see the end of the Russian Empire because we are attacking Astrakhan as well as attacking... Um, where is it? There we go. Tarki. So Tarki going to be a bit more of a conventional siege siege battle um, whereas this one will be a bit more of a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a messy battle to start with because we will be wanting our reinforcements to come in so much so I might actually do something like this because I want our the core of our army to come in first so let's fight and attack Astrakhan the enemy is getting um, reinforcements but they are depleted we however are relying on our reinforcements our very strong reinforcements to carry the to win the day and carry us forward to victory and then this army well this army will with a bunch of others march down to the the new front line with the British so you guys your job is to be on the defensive So the, mort the garrison mortars are firing. So let's just... I'm just going to move back while my reinforcements come in. You guys run. <laughs> Get away from the mess that's coming your way. Big hit. So here's our sharpshooters. Looking lovely. He's got the bugle to his lips, he's not doing anything. If I just stand here like this, maybe the Russians won't kill me. But it would be good to understand where the enemy's uh, fire zones come in when they start to. Uh, when they run out of range. Looks like it's going to be about there. Quick climb, especially, is short. The field artillery is opening up in reasonable fashion. So let's get some of our infantry to wait a minute. Field Marshal of Europe, get him! We will want to attack because of those mortars, but I want my army to grow in strength first. Well, I want my position to be a bit stronger. Okay, let's hold back. Well, they, this is a, yeah. They were running back to the the enemy's positions. No, one of our one of my one of the infantry units I did steal from men trying to shore up this flank. Quick, kill the field marshal quickly. Good. Now we're, soon we're going to start seeing. Yeah, look. So they know we're we're attacking them. Kill the field marshal. Kill him wherever he, wherever he is. There he is. Got him. Fall back. Nope, they want to avenge their comrade. Let's 
So this hill is a natural position for our artillery. Let's send our cavalry forward to intercept sharpshooters because it looks like they're having a good time outranging my infantry. General's bodyguards charged in. When we've got our artillery in position, providing some much needed fire support from long range. My howitzers are likely to stay limbered up. And there go the dragoons. The Household Cavalry is going to attempt to hit the 56. If the Light Cavalry Sharpshooters likely will not stand against our combined cavalry charge, the 18th and the 28th Regiments of Horse. It's a gun team up on the hill, so if my Lighter Cavalry can take out the General's Bodyguard... I'm counting on these guys being in a weakened morale state. Okay. So this infantry unit can join these four. Men on Limber. Heavy cavalry should be enough to deal with them. My light cavalry will be enough. My lighter cavalry will be enough to deal with the general's bodyguard, and they'll go on and knock out six pounder horse artillery. So. These men form the core of my advanced advanced forces. These units are going to push in through the town. My heavy artillery is free to open fire on any targets they wish because the enemy artillery is quite decidedly amongst. Actually, you might focus on that set of guns. You guys might focus on the mortars. The howitzers can trundle up to this ridge line. Okay, the enemy infantry has been taken care of, so we're going to charge the horse artillery. The men on the flank can now have orders, make sure they have orders to fire. My sharpshooters get over here. Actually, my cavalry needs to push up. Sure these guys are fire it well off. Okay, both the cavalry units attack this regiment of horse. Those guys will be enough. You guys can open fire on them if you wish. So here comes some enemy cavalry. Okay, let's push our cavalry up over onto the right flank as well. As long as these guys make sure the square holds. You men can form our almighty line. Okay, you guys can start to push through here like so.
Maintain the square and the 1st Regiment won't have a chance. Okay, there we go. So you guys get out of square. It's the 18th fall back. One regiment has been broken due to artillery fire. Let us expect some friendly fire. So I want to pull back and let my infantry actually do the job they're here to do. go. You men pivot. Sharpshooters continue to pivot. Horse guards push in against the enemy. My gunners. Come on. Yes. Gunners open up on these field targets. These guys did come back after all. Howitzer open up and quick climb the bejesus out of those light dragoons. Careful this big line of spikes. Go on, sharpshooters. Take out that general's bodyguard. Fusiliers have are complaining most bitterly about their uh, treatment here. So you men smash into the side of those fusiliers and throw some of my own fusiliers in for support. Quick climb coming in on the cavalry. A bit of danger close. Let's get my cavalry around the flank to pick off some of these units that are routing. Fusiliers are firing into the combat. The 9th Regiment are fleeing, so let's get my general over here. Line up the Fusiliers. My Household Cavalry can get out of the way. Let's can my Regiment of Horse. Actually, folks on the 16th. They've got a chance of coming back. Okay, so now my skirmishers have got hit by friendly fire. Make ready, fusiliers. We might get hit by some friendly fire from my own artillery. set you guys to fire round shot just to make sure nothing too crazy happens you chase down the 14th foot guard the Tsar guards it's the 18th they took a bit of a mauling a bit of a bit of friendly fire damage it's gonna mow down this guard unit my general's bodyguard is Scattering the 16th Regiment, his general staff are, are uh, clearing people out. This poor 8th Regiment of Foot. They're lucky, they're not being fired upon from every direction. Yet. Yeah, they've turned around to engage my fusiliers. My skirmishes at this range are going to be absolutely lethal. Artillery ceasefire. We don't need to, but I am going to continue because some of my units are quite badly mauled. So I would like them to... Uh, I'd like them to carry on and try and 
get back some some experience prior to being replenished. Because when you replenish, your experience level goes down because you do you are bringing in you know raw troops into a veteran formation. So that's why you're that's why if you uh, replenish units, the experience level goes down. That's why. If you want really experienced units, the best way to do it is just to build a lot of them and then slowly merge them together over time. But even then, that's no guarantee because you will run out of them sooner or later. Come on. Five, three cavalrymen, three, oh, three infantrymen left. This is the last unit on the map. The 16th. Their men are scattered. Just keep killing. Ah, they got away. Oh well. It's still, still a good... Uh, a good victory. Because they've been pushed back. And Astrakhan has been taken, so we can rebuild the governor's barracks, we can replenish this army, we can replenish this army. Generale, non possiamo. Uh, the spy can push down to... Oh. All the way down to Zahedan, because we've already got spies pushing uh, south. You infiltrate Azerbaijan, which already has two Persian spies in it. We're still... We are converting Ankara. I mean, that's a potential target there to hit this army in the mines, but we do want to focus on taking Adriano Schiavone and attacking this force here at Tarki, and this will bring about the demise of the Russian Empire, or the Russian Republic, as it is now called. We can annihilate them, take them out of the game, and then begin to push down through the Caucasus once we've uh, regrouped our armies on the front. <laughs> because we do have a lot of British troops. Granted, they're not top quality British troops, because they can't recruit them from that sort of region. Um, but they have lots of them. So. Similar pattern here where we're going to have multiple because I do have quite a heavy cavalry contingent we're going to punch through multiple breaches along the front I might actually deploy them like this five units of cavalry it's not a good assault army well it is when we've when we've got in So focus on focus on making a way, making ways in. Because all my quick climb can just fire at whomever. Although well, we might want to actually focus on making them fire round shot to try and make a uh, make a better hole before my too many of my guns get knocked out. Like they've already taken out one. I mean, we are going to make a make a lot of breaches here, um, but it's very much necessary. So I think in total I can make one, two, three, four along this forward section. Hopefully we can make... Well, we won't be able to, but I'd like to knock down this unit. <laughs> knock down this section of the wall here and knock down this section here to trap them. But I suspect that will not be the case. Yeah, we've made a hole. Yeah, just focus on knocking down all sections of the wall. Let's take one unit and begin to quick climb units that are positioning to guard this individual breach. We did actually get a good number of kills actually from collapsing that section of the wall. 
No, he ordered you to attack them. These other units are to attack that section of the wall. Misses. Oh well. Let's speed up time because uh, what we are doing is just knocking holes in walls. That one 12 pounder howitzer should should make some quite good headway against the units inside. So much so you're actually gonna change targets away from that garrison. Actually no, keep keep hitting the garrison guard. Garrison guards are they're competent troops. So they aren't necessarily the ones we want sticking around. To be honest, it looks like these guys can't make up their mind about who they're going to hit. Yeah, they're dropping shells in the centre even though... They do have orders. Now, one second guys, I need to quickly have a brief toilet break. Oh, that was necessary. Uh, very unprofessional I know, but uh, prior to uh, prior to time recording, I thought, no, nah, this is this is fine, this is fine. I'll I'll be all right. But then I wasn't. So let's triple speed it. Because I think the yeah they they keep dropping round shots out round shots onto the centre, but I don't want them to. And these guys as well. Even though they have their orders, make a hole. And again, they're still not. They're still not. Okay, you are. So what we need to be aware of is that we do have, like up here, there's quite a big block of Russian troops that will come swarming in. Those guys have... These gunners have missed. Still dropping shots in the middle. doubly frustrating when you know that you've got... Okay, right. So now, you guys... Start to mass quick climb some of the guys over here. Start to advance. it looks like yeah they're going to open fire with their own three pounders halt fire while the men advance past you the howitzers how it should, how should still be okay to fire. They've crewed so much infantry they're not even giving them numbers anymore. They're just regiment of infantry. Okay. Engage that last. That, sm that fortification that's barely got any help. It might cause quite a lot of... Yeah, there we go. That unit almost entirely died. So let's halt and then get let them fire at will. If they want to attack in the centre, they can. 
new men push over to that breach. These two push over to this breach. These two push over to this breach. Like I want my heart says to try and be doing a real number on uh, this block of troops over here. I'm curious to know who these guys will shoot at because previously they had no qualms over just firing at whatever they like. In which case, then I will get them to attack that corner position. The quick climb comes in. I hear how it's a fire. Yep, there they are. Let's get my cavalry up. Let's commit the first unit into the breach. You guys push up, you might be able to fire some good musket shots into the breach. You guys are being engaged, but if they don't get off the corner section here, they're going to get... Um, they're going to get cut to pieces. You men should hopefully fire in against the militia. They're starting to chug. I'm not sure who it is they're shooting at. The garrison guards, I suppose. Cossacks are coming in. You're sniping at guys on the wall. It's usually a bad trade. So I want you guys to clear out that garrison militia unit and then we can push in. These guys are only garrison militia. You're pouring fire into the regiments there. When this wall section collapses, my skirmishes might be able to do quite well in there. In there, as well as these two cavalry units. Hit the... Okay, you can fire well at who you like, but this unit is going to... Load and fire. And it's very nice of this regiment to decide to uh, just hunker down. Now might be, maybe now's the time to get in. So when these guys have cleared out the militia, that breach will be empty. These guys are getting fired upon, the, that section on the right is going to collapse. Okay, you men form up a blocking force there. My cavalry is going to wheel right. Well, maybe not. It's five units of militia. I do not like how that... Okay, you guys all... Okay, good. The right flank is open. So let's get everyone in there. 
These guys are doing okay. This fight, not so much here. So they're going to clear out the garrison guards. My cuirassiers are going to storm through to the center. Same with this light horse. Like these hearts are probably going to stop firing completely. Ignore the infantry there. Get my Ignore these guys. Try to get my cuirassiers around to the rear of these Russians. Because that's an awful lot of Russians. The enemy general's been killed. Send the regiment of horse into the foot line infantry. You guys continue to attack the regiment Vioni Strelzi. Yeah, it's a lot of Russian troops. You guys need to knock out the 3rd Regiment pretty rookie tick. Is that the Regiment of Horse? Yeah, you're doing okay. You men... Bayonet charge them. You guys get over here to help the men in the center. Get these cuirassiers in around the flank. So if you guys can just hunker down... Uh, my, the, the, the light horse have not managed to keep the central point secure. Let's run some cavalry in. I mean, these, this is actually quite dangerous. Especially as we're now, we're flagging when it comes to uh, clearing out this centre. Take out the last with Bjorni Streltsy. Let's try and extricate some of this infantry to provide a blocking force against the Russians. Okay. Doomsday weapon. Right here. You charge the flank of this Russian unit. You guys... Okay, actually, you guys, you guys can hold them off. There's the danger shots. Attacking ground rather than attacking unit to try and ensure we don't lose our foothold. I mean, these guys aren't doing anything. They should be doing lots more damage. Those guys aren't firing, that doesn't help. Bringing more Russians to bear. See, there you go. Now they're both firing. That's doing the, that's delivering the effect we want. Okay, this weak unit of infantry, you just hunker down in the center. 
There we go. It might have killed all our guys, but it killed all their guys too. God. <laughs> Sometimes it is necessary for the survival of the many to kill also some of the many. But there we go. So we did have a... Well, the option was to lose it, lose the battle, and not sacrifice those men and cause the Russians to continue to exist. So let's demolish this university. We've got all sorts of spies. You're not needed in Azerbaijan. You can run on to Kabul. You... We've already got aid in Mesopotamia, so let's get you down all the way down to Nerun. But there we go. Now the Russians no longer exist, so we can begin to run our our significant amount of troops straight away straight down to the border Signore. you're waiting for okay you're gonna go okay you can no longer go to that army so you're gonna go to this army to Angelo to Angelo di Benedetto You might. Well, you are you are needed there. Just keep sending troops south. I mean, I know you're a bit grumpy, Moscow. You're all trying to figure out what you're going to do. Loads of our boys have gone over to the Americas, which is where we're going to go after this action. I'm actually tempted to send my... Oh no, you are still needed. All those dragoons. These two forces are going to march down to the Caucasus as well. Because these units, these armies are going to be the ones that build up to go over to the Americas. So you're nearly ready. You're going to get some Hussars, and that'll finish you guys. Okay, you're going to march over towards, or well, maybe just up to here, Kronstadt. Get building some light galleys. You're all marching up there as well. Let's upgrade you to commercial basin. Obviously, we've got all of you guys as well. So let's upgrade one of these guys, armies to have a one of these ships to a general's unit. You can get a trading port, and then Raphael, Raphael, Raphael or Bianchi. You can sail over with a grand fleet over to the Americas. I was going to send these guys over to India, but I think I might. Need a bit more firepower in the Americas in the short term. So all of our Indian forces, let's gather them down at Toronto. Okay, let's move these guys up to Munich. I think the Dragoons might be able to go a bit further. Let's get you guys down to Toronto as well. These are the guys that are going to go for Iceland. So let's take this rake. Signore. It's a lot of... We've got three armies to go up there, up there to Iceland. But I think that's worth doing. Let's hop over to the Americas. So we've got Pietro Castelli who can't... Can you fight? You can fight me as I can. Let's attack this Mughal force. They dare land at Paramaribo. Because we need to fight this, we probably need to fight in Quebec. And then attack a whole bunch of um, Native American statements, uh, settlements to the north. Up in the Arctic Circle and up at uh, Churchill. But I think 
Look at that for a elite unit of fusiliers. Accuracy 66. Accuracy 62 line infantry guards. 63 accuracy Swiss guards. Accuracy 50 line infantry. Good god. I, I don't want these guys to get annihilated. Then again, Pietro Castelli, he, he has been doing a lot of fighting. Huzzah! But this is going to be an offensive battle. Get our left flank up to here. It's really not efficient deployment of troops, but whatever. Ooh. Sepahi are running up. How it says you hit the native lances. Okay, right. Let's both of you not attack the native lancers. Okay, both attack the native lancers because they are coming. So these three are going to push around to the flank, as are you. Okay, these remaining troops take position. You guys push through the town. The lancers have been annihilated. You men fill up the gaps. Cavalry take position. I'm going to fall upon this flank. They've only got levy out here. So where are my, oh, my fusiliers? Are right up in the front, the forty-fourth. Pour fire onto them. Good stuff. I mean, you guys have literally hit my line infantry guards. You are Sipahi, but, you know, square formation's a thing. Yeah, you weren't going to last very long against the, against the square formation. So let's run my Swiss guards into the flank of these levy. You guys pour fire into the flank of these bowmen. Then you guys will swing right to go help out my uh, cavalry. Okay, there go the Sipahi. So you men form up to pour fire into the flank of these Kizilbashi. So you men take position like so, get the militia into the ruins. You men push on. Some leave some of you in reserve. So folks firing the general's bodyguard. Uh, Native Lancers coming in on the flank again. You men form up to engage the Kizilbashi. Colonial militia taking position in this fortification. Keep chasing down the levee as annoying as they're being. Ooh, 41 Sepahi versus 76 Regiment of Horse. That's a bit dodgy. 
field artillery around, shot, engage the Kizilbashi. I mean, that's pretty ambitious of those colonial militia. So, Sipahi are fantastic cavalry, but they are Lancer cavalry, fundamentally. So, they don't really want to be fighting in the in the prolonged uh, battle against sword cavalry. Yeah, regiment of horse still attacking the levy. Field artillery focus on that unit of levy. I mean, it looks like they want to charge, so let's counter charge. If that's something you feel like you want to do, let's stop all my artillery from firing. My nine, my twelve pounders open up again on the general's bodyguard. seeing this quite a bit, quite quite often now with the levy that they rout before you have enough time to do a significant amount of damage to them so they do just come back and they keep coming back you men charge the bowmen You men take a position on the high ground to fire down into the general's bodyguard. So you smash into the bowmen. That will be the end of them. So you guys don't shoot. focus fire on the general's bodyguard so let's get make sure my guns are firing they are it's a kizzle bashi unit has decided to come back i mean the general is brave to stand here in the open i mean it would be not wait a minute no! Pietro died all the way back here at the start. Oh no, that's not cool. I did wonder, like, ah, will we kill their general? And then I just realised my general died. That is a blow. Pietro was, had done a great job. He'd done a great job. But that cavalry charge... He's only lost six men, and he's one of them. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. It's not often I, I dislike... It's not often I'm bothered about losing generals, it's just when they're generals I recognise. Very well, one of your cavalrymen from this unit is going to take up the lead. Carlo Testore. Let's advance. So we've also at some point got to hit Martinique and Curacao, which is going to be great fun. Um, but we're also fighting up here. So let's... So how are you fixed? Okay, so you've got mostly... Mostly irregular units. We've got plenty of artillery. 
Okay, let's go take Quebec. So we've, taken, we've, put, we've made quite a large landing in North America. And once we've... Well, this is the problem about attacking the Native American factions, is that you need quite a big army to hit them and take them, because they can be quite feisty. Um, but then you need to stay there to keep them calm, otherwise they'll just freak out. So even though I've got armies, lots of armies deployed up in the north, there's only so much I can do. And this is going to be excellent for my field artillery. Got some 12s. I've got yeah, two 12s and a 24 pounder. And because we've got a mixed... Well, we've got zero cavalry. We're going to do a more traditional style of attack. So you men focus on getting in there. Okay, one of you guys is going to sit here dropping quick climb on the center. Yes! Yes! Because they do have mortars down here as well. Somewhere they've got mortars. Yeah, there they are. Good luck killing the crewmen of this of this team. 133 men. Yeah, good old howitzers. They'll even the odds for us. You got yeah. So two of these units keep focusing on clearing out crewmen on the wall. Or gunners on the wall. I want to see these guys fire in the center. Because the main target here are these, these mortars that are trundling forwards. Again, with the Orders problem. Boom, 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 boom. Looks like they are abandoning the walls to a degree. I mean, most of these armies are bowmen, so it's not overly, I'm not overly worried. I mean, these guys could theoretically shoot on the center and attack the general. I would imagine. But their focus does have to be the guns on the wall, because they are what do the biggest consistent damage, I find. They, they, they can just be really good. Ooh. Water crew down to eight, down to four men. Got to bear in mind, it is the, the crewmen that fire the guns. It's not the, the mortars themselves you see are just a bit irrelevant. It's all about trying to kill the mortars themselves. In fact, I might even get two of my two of my gun crews to focus on those mortars. Maybe fire just short. Because they are getting quite within range. These 24 pounders can, can keep clearing out the center. Only, they'll only really mass near the breaches when we've made one. It's funny really, they're actually they've actually not lost any men since we've started attacking them directly. 
So you may as well just focus on... Well, I mean, if you can knock out that section of wall, that'd be great. Oh, I missed it. Boom, down they go. Okay, so you've made a breach. Now they've got to hold it. And my gunners work on one over here, actually, rather than that one. Because ultimately these guys in the centre now are pretty weak. They're all down to half, so it's all about thinning out the, the actual men defending the wall. They might even advance. I suppose I should also get one unit to at least start to... Well, let's get two units start focusing on the actual good units and we'll leave one heavy firepower unit to clear out the, uh, the chaff, as it were. Sorry about that accident. <laughs> I started to sneeze before I could actually... Uh, Get to the button. Oh, it's a lot of dead bowmen. So the mortars down to two crewmen. It looks like they just want to walk outside. I mean, they're sentient mortars. That's that's the real startling thing. But soon, we will deploy our flank battalions. Or to be honest, I might just do it now. Yes, AI, you've got decisions to make, haven't you? One mortar firing. Just killed a bunch of my dudes. Classic. Maybe I ought to focus on the units near the breach, because if I'm going to be pushing in there, I'm going to want that overall superiority. There's a lot of bowmen died there. Okay, this unit. Take this position on the wall. It's a lot of dead bowmen right there. Hey, they've actually. Ah, say. Thought they'd actually approached us in the. Uh... They've opened the gate to us, but they've summarily closed it again. Don't really want to drop. I don't really want to put, um, she so made the breach. So they object to my men taking positions up here. So let's see if my field artillery can engage General's bodyguard. Lots of the shots might get hit by the gatehouse. At least they've charged some bowmen out against us, so that we can clear them up. Doesn't mean you guys stop firing your howitzers, because I didn't know where they were going to be. Are 
you men attack the native musketman auxiliary. And some Mandari horsemen. Okay, you guys attack that unit of bowmen. General's bodyguards coming in. For these two infantry units back. It looks like they've gone ahead and panicked so much against my men pushing up here that they're actually going to just fight in the breach. So we've got one unit here to try and clear the way through. These units are going to try and force their way through here. I mean, I can't remember what the best way to fight uh, elephants is beyond beyond um, just shooting them with artillery. So you men clear out the bowmen. You men charge those to Fangy. All of our howitzers switch to round shot and engage the general's bodyguard in the center. You guys need to run because you guys are going to form a block here and fire into men in the center. So we're slowly make well we are going to make our way through the center there. Too bad these guys are attacking my grenadiers. There we go, General's bodyguard has been routed. Let's actually stretch them out just a bit further out. Okay, good. Now we can start getting men, largely getting them off the walls. Okay, let's get in there. Get these grenadiers over here, ready to form a second wave. Let's get one regiment of foot over there. So you guys take position on the walls and... Well, you guys actually just attack some units from behind. Let's try and get some of these units off the walls now. There we go. Oh no, the elephants are back. Killed the enemy general. Let's get our grenadiers into the action here. And you guys form square. You guys push on to hit this unit of Kizilbashi musketeers. You're ganging up on them. go. Poor old bowmen, they're charging in. Hatchets held high. Okay, grenadiers, push up. My line infantry can deal with them. All my artillery stop firing. It's completely unnecessary.
push up to take the center. You guys hit them, you guys hit Bowman, you guys clear out the foot artillery. Okay, you guys charge into the back of the Bowman then, you guys get onto the center. Yeah, there's only so long they were going to stick around. Hurrah! So, Quebec is ours. And that's quite a nice foothold to have in North America, especially as uh, we can then start to use that to churn out uh, more armies. There we go. So the territory is ours. Good stuff. You've got a tavern. We can knock that down and replace it with a church school. There we go. So repair. Let us replenish. Repair the global trading company. Because we know they're not going to like it. These guys might actually wait to see what these guys do. Because we do have two stacks to the north that might get involved. So, Diplomacy, the Inuit, Declare War. So, deploy your men to attack. Let's get our second rate back into the action. Let's not attack the Huron until we've got Rupert's Land secure, which I'm just going to water resolve that. Because that was not many men at all. So you men repair, you men repair. Is this the bad priest? He's not bad yet. But he can be very bad. Let's get rid of the pleasure gardens. And we'll replace it with a... Um, a religious building. So when Moose Factory is ready, we'll hit... When we're, when we're ready to hit Fort Salt Fort Saint Salt Marie, we'll then also attack York Factory in the same turn. Astrakhan is ours. Sí, UN Raid Providence. So then this second rate ship of the line. Try to get around to Eastport. So we've got quite a naval blockade on them. On their North American holdings. Obviously we still do have troops down here. In our territories in South America, but as we know, they are deployed. Okay, hop back up to Europe. I've just got a whole bunch of troops. Sat here currently not doing anything. See, uh, yeah, these two are on their way to the Indian front line, which I think makes sense. Lots of these will end up actually breaking away and, well, the lots of them will, will end up going over to to attack India from the south. You can attack Murat Siri. Then, so if I pull Enrico Castro back to here, I can take Ernesto Defendi to hit Said Rusti from the south east to make them retreat the way we want them to go but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for a bit of action in the middle east cheers everyone